What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to track text in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Sony Vegas open up right now, I'm going to drag and drop in this clip which is a cinematic of RAID and I'm just going to right click the video, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now if we play through it, as you'll see this is the clip we have. It's only 4 seconds and we're going to track it on this wall. Now Sony Vegas is more time consuming for tracking text. If you have After Effects, then I recommend doing it on After Effects. However, this is a Sony Vegas tutorial, so let's get into it. First of all, you need to right click and insert a video track and make sure it's above your video. Now, you want to come over to Media Generators, which is this right here. If you don't see it, then simply come to View, Windows Layout and select Default Layout. So Media Generators tab, you want to come down and you want to select Legacy Text. Now, you want to pick a text that has the checkered background. What this means, there's no background to the text. So that's exactly what we want. And for this, I'm going to be using soft shadow. And that's actually what I recommend you to use as well. And then just call the text whatever you want to. I'm just going to call mine tracked. I'm going to make this size 45. And I'm going to come over to properties. If you want to change your uh, font color, you can change it directly from here. But for me, I'm going to keep mine white. You can come over to the effects tab and you can have a shadow and an outline. Shadow will make it more realistic. If you play around with it, then of course you can make it even better. But I'm going to leave it how it is. I'm just going to X out of this. So I'm going to shorten this down to match the clip length. And now we're going to begin to track it on this wall. So I'm going to be using track motion for this. And that's the one I recommend. So select track motion and I'm just going to drag it up here just so you can see it like that. So what we're going to be doing for this is putting track on this wall. So I'm going to drag it up here and it's going to start off screen like that. That's exactly how I want it. Just like that. We're also going to come here and change this to 3D source alpha. If you can't change it from there, then you can come here and change it to 3D source alpha. Now make sure enable rotation is checked. Make sure these three are unchecked. And then make sure this and this is checked. Now we can zoom in using the mouse wheel. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a spin. Now I'm not too sure how much just yet. But I'm going to give it a tiny bit of a spin. Like that. And now we're going to begin to track. Now the way I recommend doing this is adding at least five, five um, tracking points. Now it's actually very simple and you will see at the end it's actually going to turn out better than you think. So I'm going to just play and pause so I'm actually going to turn this down to auto so I can have it with no lag. So as you can see it's moved and we're at one second. I'm going to left click this box and I'm just going to use the arrow keys to position it back like so. Now all the time I'm trying to position the T with this corner here so this is letting me know where I should stop. So, again, a little bit more. I'm going to track it back here. I'm going to zoom in a bit more to be more accurate, as you can see. And then, again, a bit more. Using the arrow keys again, you have to left click the rectangle here in order to do it. And then we'll just keep going. And then I think after this, we might be done or we need to add one more, but we'll see. So. Yep, we're going to add one more here, left click and just track it back. And let's just play it. There we go. Now I'm going to add one more to the end here, just to make it stay in position like this. And now we are good to go. So in that we made one, two, three, four, five and six keyframes. This is for a four second clip. And as you can tell, it's already going to be time consuming. However, let's play through what we have just done. As you can see, it was tracked the entire way. Now, it did mess up a bit towards the end. You'll see it starts to move up and down. I don't know where this actually occurs, but it did start to do it. 
So just play around with it and make sure you get the best effect. Again, I just rushed just for the purpose of the tutorial. But as you can see, it is simple to do, but it will be time consuming. Like I said, this is only a four second clip. So depending how long your clip is, it's going to take a lot of time. Also, if you are new to keyframing, then it will take a bit more time as well. However, as you can see, the end result is still good. Anyway, that's it for this video. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Come <laughs> on.